welcome back nail queens i've done a few new things to my nail room and to my nail routine yes naked nails in like the last three four weeks that i want to update you guys on so um how, where do i start where do i start should i start with my desk situation or my nail routine i think you guys are here for my nails so if you watched my last vlog, my creator vlog, I think it was part two, um, I talked a little bit about the jobs that I'm doing where I have to create content for companies. And um, I mean this in a positive way, so please don't take it negatively, but it becomes overwhelming because the amount of manicures that I have to do and video tutorials I have to do for these brands, it's a, quite a bit. And I don't think many people can pull off six to eight manicures a month without it taking a toll on their skin. So I have decided for the content that I'm creating for one of the brands at the very least that I'm going to do it in press on style, but the tutorial is actually going to happen on my hands. I'm just going to press them on beforehand. So what I've been doing is I've been designing these press ons with the painted desert, like little tip clips things. I forgot what they're called. So I've been designing them on here and then I'll press them on. So I've been wearing these pink ones They're It's called, it's a gel polish from, um, Kimber's anyway. So I like designed them on here, except for one. Then I press everything on my nails even that one that doesn't have anything on it. And then I'll do my tutorial on that one design. So, so far that's working out great. Oh my gosh, I can get so much content done in just even a week time span. When I first like started dabbling in it, I was like knocking designs out. I was like, oh my God. Well, I'm, mind you, some of the designs I had to do weren't tutorials. So um, I have a little box of the tips. Um, and uh, let me show you, let me see if I can show you. So what I've been doing, I already created a card for my Kimber's ones because I got to put those away. But um, so a lot of these brands don't pay me. They just send me product and I'm happy to receive it because I enjoy using their products. But I feel bad when some of the brands send me stuff and I'm not using it because I have other obligations. So that's another reason why I wanted to do the press on stuff so that I can get around to actually using the brands that I love and even the stuff that I've purchased and I really wanna use. So for example, um, this is Nail Reserve. They sent me a bunch of gels and the blue was like my freaking favorite. So I wanted to use it. So I created a press on set using the blue. That Manny turned out great. Kimber's Creation sent me a bunch of stuff and I was like, I haven't used any of your stuff since May. And I felt super bad because her stuff is lovely. So I started creating sets. This is like a builder gel. It's so pretty. Um, then I created this little mermaid set. Actually, it's not mermaid. It's a peacock. So I created this set. Um, and then you guys probably remember from the video I posted, I created this set. This one is with Sierra's Nail Glitter World. It's another brand that I'm working with who I literally have been putting on the back burner because I've been so overwhelmed. But look how cute that set is. What? So, um, um, am I allowed to show this one yet? I don't know. This one's Nail Boo. Isn't that cute? Oh, did I put gel on that before the polish dried? I think I did. Oops. Oh, well. And then these are Triple D. These are her marble gels. You can do dip powder or gel on it. Like, um, half of these are dip powder, half of these are gel. Um, these are nail polish. So like you can do whatever you want. And what's great is like you can design all your stuff on the press-ons and then put them on your nails and ta-da. So I don't know. Um, I know this is like a lot to throw at you guys on like what I've changed in my nail routine, but this is only changing simply because I have commitments that are, I feel like behind on and I don't want all this stuff to go unused and sitting in piles. You, you would be ashamed of what my floor looks like right now. You can probably see a box of stuff right there. So I have this little box that I got from the Dollar Tree and obviously it's stuffed full already. Um, and it's full of index cards. And the index cards on the back, it tells me what I used. And then the front is the actual press-ons. So I used 
this is a descriptor because when I take the press-ons off, I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to forget what tips I use, what brand products I use, what colors, what gels, what I did for the nail art. If I end up stamping, I'm like, I'm going to forget what I use for that. So I don't want to forget. So that's why I've been doing it like this. So let me show you me doing a new card. So this is Kimber Creations Flirty Gel Polish. So I just flip this bad boy over and I purchased... I think I purchased this from Amazon, honestly. So let me find the end of this. I have to do two strips. Start at the center. Because this one has 10 nails. I usually do five nails, but these I've actually been wearing out and about. So I needed two strips for those. My left and right hand, they're basically the same size, except for my right hand, one of the nails is a little bit larger. So other than that, it doesn't matter what I put on the left or right side of these cards. I'm going to be using these more often. I've used them several times already whenever we go out on like date night and stuff. So I like having these tips readily available for me to use. And I can design more sets, um, like more 10 piece sets. I just haven't yet. This isn't something that I plan on doing forever. It's just I'm doing it right now because I'm like in that season of life where I am very busy and I don't want to get behind on my obligations, but I also want to do the things I enjoy. And honestly, this has allowed me to become much more creative than I usually am because I feel like I have time. And when I feel like a burst of inspiration, I can literally execute it because I just do it on press on. I can execute it immediately. I don't have to wait until my nails are removed. I just do it on the press ons and go on about my day. Like, I have a press-on nail stand here, I have this one, I literally have so much press-on stuff. But, yeah, it's been super nice to actually be able to feel creative, to express myself, and feel like I have the time to do the things that I love. Okay, so, what I have to do today is I have to um, file shape and buff the browned powders. So those are already like done and set on the press-ons. So I'm gonna file shape and buff those, top coat them, and then press everything on and then get on with my tutorial. But before we get to that part, I am going to show you guys around my dirty office. Okay, so we said goodbye to one of the kittens. So we only have one kitten left and mommy. We're trying to still find them their forever homes. Please don't chew on my cable. But um, I've been going through my office and organizing in a way that makes more sense to me. I've been destashing products, things like that. So what I actually ended up doing was I separated my desks. I used to have both my desks right there, which is why none of this artwork and that has been moved over yet. I'm going to give it a few weeks to see if I like it before I move everything that I mounted to the wall. So that's how I usually go about my systems is I live with it for a few weeks before I do any major changes to making holes in the wall. So that is now my nail desk. My, nail net, my original nail desk used to be the one that was right here and that bike used to be right there, but I separated them and so far I have no regrets with doing that. Now I don't get dust all over my things over there, which is so nice. And I've been doing my nail stuff here and everything. The lighting is great so far. The area is great. I still have to bolt that to that, but it's a whole story for a different day. Um, I've been doing more artistic stuff. So I've been doing more painting and all that stuff. Um, these are, this is my sea of packages I still have to go through, but I've been, I don't know. So what I originally wanted to do was I wanted to move all of this to this wall but after i took measurements and everything this does not fit on that wall it would if i didn't have that overhang on each of the sides but i do not want to go through the work of sawing down this um this wood block i really don't want to saw it off so 
I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna live with the way it is. I'm gonna leave this unit here. Um, and besides, I didn't wanna have to take those down anyways. So I'm gonna live with that there. I am considering recreating a similar style setup on this end where I have like a nice like butcher block. That's what that is, it's a butcher block. And I have like Alex units on each side, kind of like I do just right now. And I have the center part empty. That's what I'm considering. I have not decided yet if that's what I'm gonna do, but I am liking the idea of that. However, I have to consider where I'm gonna put my bike in my room, so. Say hi to Mama Kitty, hi. Hello, beautiful. That is Talia. And you can see I'm obsessed with cats. I have cat headphones, a cat sticky notepad, literal cats in this room. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, I never, I don't think I showed you guys this. Oh, this is what I use to um, record my TikTok videos and my reels that are not done on my nail desk. So this is the tripod to my ring light. I no longer use my ring light on a tripod. I actually have it on a mount that clamps to the desk. So I was like, I need to use this tripod for something. So I bought this on Amazon. It's like a gooseneck mount and I clamped it onto this bad boy. It's not going anywhere. And then I put my cell phone here and I adjust the gooseneck. You can even just adjust it this way if you want it vertical, horizontal. So I adjust the gooseneck however I want it. And then I start recording. So a lot of my videos and my YouTube videos are actually recorded right here. I just move one of the poly tracks out of the way, turn on a candle, and I start like, I said most of my YouTube videos, most of my reels on Instagram are recorded right here. So yeah, I just like literally use this to do my recording and it has been very convenient. And it's super compact. The legs actually fold up so I can like put it out of the way and it takes up like no space. So it's very nice to have that. Anyways, I have a lot of work to do today. So I should probably just like stop doing this recording, this vlog style and get to it. <laughs>